Helena Kortbash has managed to break out of a vicious cycle. Only two years ago, everything in her life centered on food. While eating a meal, she was already thinking about the next one, with disastrous results for her health. I was almost perfectly square. I weighed 84 kilos, although I'm just 1 meter 54. Plus I had a fatty liver, high blood pressure and diabetes, and I took medication for those conditions. But in the end, the only thing that helped was losing weight and a proper diet. Now that she's about 20 kilos lighter, her blood pressure and liver are normal again. Even her diabetic symptoms have subsided. But there are patients whose diabetes is not improved by losing weight. It's unclear why that should be. We don't even really know how type 2 diabetes arises. Of course, we do know about the role of excess weight and genetic predispositions. But we don't know what factors in fatty tissues are ultimately responsible for developing the insulin resistance, resulting in diabetes that is irreversible. Scientists at the German Research Center for Environmental Health in Munich want to close that knowledge gap and develop medications for obesity and diabetes in a newly founded institute. Mice play an important role in their studies. The researchers are testing around a hundred genes to find out which are involved in the emergence of these disorders, how they function, and via which hormones. The scientists give the mice a fast food diet and put them in specially designed cages. There, they can observe how many calories the mice consume, how many they burn up through movement, and exactly how many in which organs. The researchers are especially interested in the brain. We know that the brain controls many different organs simultaneously and that it's responsible for their efficient interaction. When they no longer interact properly, there's a high risk that disorders like diabetes will result. And the researchers have already made some surprising discoveries. These special images show that food rich in fats and sugar changes the brain. In regions of the brain that regulate blood sugar, body weight and appetite, they found inflammation responses, a possible indication of nerve cell damage. The structure of the brain tissue changes as well, though the researchers can't yet say why. These images show tissue samples from the brain when nutrition is normal and after a diet high in fat and sugar. For example, after just a few months on a high-fat and high-sugar diet, the mice form new blood vessels, too many and too quickly, in areas crucial to regulating body weight. We now think that this is similar to a syndrome we know from diabetes research. What happens in the eye that leads to blindness is partly caused by the formation of new blood vessels that damage eye function. The researchers hope to develop new medications to prevent these changes in the brain. They're trying to find the specific messenger substances that play an important role in the process. Ideally, they would alter and recombine them to develop tailor-made molecules that would work like a whole cocktail of messenger substances. The aim is to help the brain properly regulate food intake and blood sugar again. They already have a few promising molecules. We're seeing great success with this new substance and combination of substances in a single molecule in mice and rats. We don't know yet if it can be transferred one-to-one -to, -one to humans, but we do have initial signs that it might succeed. The findings have to be confirmed by further studies on mice and humans. The researchers hope the first medications could be available in five or six years.